All right, guys, first thing first, we're working on the air handler. In case you guys don't know what an air handler is, it's basically just a big blower inside of a box. So it's very important to make sure it's clean. Why? Because it's a perfect breathing ground for mold. What do I mean? Meaning that it's dark, it's damp, and it just gets moldy, right? So if it's dark and damp and you have condensation, perfect recipe for mold. And we don't want that, guys. So it's make, make sure that you always clean it, the housing. You always want to make sure that we have good airflow. So you want to clean out the actual the coil, the evaporator coil to be exact. Aside from the evaporator coil, you always want to make sure you clean that condensation trap. It's very important, mi gente, because the condensate trap, I cannot tell you how many times people call me every year, every summer. Louis, I got a leak in my ceiling. Oh, what am I going to do? I got water. I got a waterfall. I got, I got the Niagara Falls in my living room. Papi, what am I going to do? Well, the good thing is they got the A-Strike Papi over here and they got the 18. We have to go downstairs in the basement. That's where the second air handler is located. So same thing, same um, sequence of operation, right? You got to clean out the evaporator coil. You want to clean out the primary drain pan. You want to clean up your condensate trap. But in this case, it's a little different because the one in the attic, you have a condensate line that's going outside to your gutter. Now we just disconnected and removed the actual cover. Next thing is what? We want to get access to inside the actual condensing unit. We want, make, we want to make sure there's no debris, leaves, trees, branches, dead animals. You should be surprised. Does it happen that often? But it happens. But make sure that the inside housing of the unit is clean, mi gente. Very important thing. I cannot stress that shit enough. We have to blow out the coils, guys. So we're going to blow out the coils from what? From inside out and inside in. What do I mean? Because remember, it's sucking air to the actual coil from outside around the perimeter of the condenser. What we're going to do, we're going to take out a hose. We're going to rinse the actual coil inside and out. Some nice clean water. And then we're going to add some chemical. And that's when the, whoo, the magic happens, baby. That's right. You're going to put everything back together. That's right. The same way you took it apart, the same way you're going to put it back together. So you put everything back together, mi gente. Hey, it's, again, it's not rocket science. But if you follow my direction, you follow my lead, and you listen to the H-Track Poppy, you'll get the job done and get it just right. So, guys, that's how you clean the H-Track system. But wait! It's not over right there, meaning you still got a little bit more to do. You got to clean out the condensate pump. You also got to clean out the neutralizer. The neutralizer is the pebbles you see inside that looks like, looks like shit, looks like one big, woo, long booger on a big snot. But guys, that's because there's still water there. It's been there for six months, minimum, if not a year, whatever it is, and it needs to be clean. So your job is to take out all that pebble, all those pebbles, the neutralizer, take it apart, clean it out, whip out. Forget about those cold days Just take me to the boiler room I can't bring the warm days Just take me to the boiler room